Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ivan from Scifi and I will be your host in today's episode. Yes, but only if you don't really understand how WordPress actually works. This is something that a lot of people would actually disagree with. Nine out of 10 people, if asked, will tell you that WordPress is actually super easy. And although there is some truth in this, generally WordPress is not the easiest platform for beginners. It has a learning curve and we think it's a good idea to face this fact and try to understand the logic behind the platform rather than pretend that everything is super simple and easy and later make you feel that there is something wrong with you just because you don't really find it as easy and straightforward. WordPress offers thousands of themes, plugins, and therefore there's limitless customization, which may give you an overwhelming feeling of dread the first time you see it. You may even feel like you don't really know where to start. The important thing though, is to realize that these things are actually necessary to build a beautiful and functional website. Yes, hands down, WordPress can be complicated for beginners, but it's also very, very powerful. So in a way, some of its complexity is the price you have to pay for its power and customization. In today's video, we'll try to dive deeper and explore why WordPress is so hard to use for beginners. We will share all the essential stuff that you need to know about WordPress. And we'll also share a few tips how you can make your WordPress experience so much better and a lot more enjoyable. So let's get started. WordPress is an open source content management system, otherwise referred to as CMS. It was first released in 2003, and today it is the most popular way of creating a blog or a website. Actually, around 42% of all websites on the entire internet currently use WordPress. This is how a standard WordPress dashboard looks like. Theoretically, you can use WordPress to build and manage your website without writing a single line of code. Once a website is set up, publishing in WordPress is extremely easy. However, if you want your website to be something more than just a blog, you'll need additional customization. And this is exactly the moment when things start to get a bit more complicated. When it comes to customization, the possibilities are close to limitless in WordPress. Now, this is good news, but again, it's not easy. But we'll get there in a minute. Just make sure that you guys continue watching until the end. On a more personal note, we at Citify use WordPress exactly because we love the freedom and flexibility it offers us. And hopefully soon you'll also be able to enjoy all that WordPress offers with no headache or frustration. One more thing before we proceed, there's a difference between self-hosted version of WordPress at wordpress.org and the wordpress.com version. In this video, we focus on self-hosted WordPress only, since this is what everybody usually means when they mention WordPress. But don't despair. If you wanna learn more about wordpress.com, write it down in the comments and I'll make sure to bring you a video on that topic soon. WordPress requires initial installation and setup. It is open source software, not a service like website builders such as Wix, Weebly, Squarespace and so on. And it needs to be installed on a server before it can be launched. The majority of web hosts today indeed offer one-click WordPress installation and it's quite easy to do, but still, this is not the whole story. In most cases, you'll need to continue configuring WordPress further after the installation. Another thing is selecting reliable, fast and quality hosting for WordPress, which can become a bottleneck for non-technical users. Poor WordPress hosting is a pain in the ass. Try avoiding this in the early stages of your WordPress website. The right hosting company will provide you with two important things. Fast quality WordPress hosting and easy WordPress installation. Getting these two parts in place will make your life a lot easier. Usually going with top rated options like Bluehost or Kinsta is the safest way to go. 
Now, we have included links to both of these in the description below, so make sure that you check them out. Themes and plugins can be complicated. After the setup, the themes and plugins can complicate WordPress or your WordPress experience. This is because WordPress, if you want to use it in its code-free version, relies on themes and third-party extensions called plugins. So they, it needs them to function correctly. While WordPress tries to keep all the themes and plugins in its directory compatible with each other, quite often there may be conflict, which creates some difficulty. Categories and tags can also be complicated. Although WordPress is now used by all sorts of different websites like business websites, e-commerce stores, etc., it was initially built for blogging. And this is why it still uses the categories and tags that were originally designed for blogs to manage their blog posts, not for all sorts of other website types that nowadays run on WordPress too. So if you're going to use WordPress just for blogging, you'll be fine. But for the other types of websites, these things can be confusing. This potential confusion is highlighted in the official WordPress document too. So this is something known and expected, but it still contributes towards the overall confusion. While WordPress is highly customizable, the multitude of different settings available make it a little hard to use for beginners. For example, the sidebar in a blog post is controlled via widgets in a dashboard and the custom page should be set up as the home page in reading settings before the website can be launched. All of this is relatively easy to do and takes only a few minutes to set up, but it is still not as straightforward as users may expect it to be. There is also no setup wizard or anything like that which contrasts website builders like Wix or Squarespace. Plus, all the settings from third-party plugins can quickly add up, resulting in further confusion. Analytics is the name of the system that is used to gather and analyze information about a certain website. Analytics is something every website must have, but WordPress has no inbuilt analytics. Many third-party free and paid analytics plugins are available, but all of them require initial setup, which adds one more step for beginners. So these are the main factors why WordPress is hard to use. It's not too much, but enough for beginners to feel a bit frustrated with WordPress. But don't just rush off to write it off based on that. Give us a chance to show you all the great things that it has to offer. We've got some tips to make your WordPress experience more comfortable and rewarding. WordPress can be hard, but it's worth it. Yes, WordPress may require some learning curve, but it is the perfect platform for users looking for a way to build amazing and functional website without massive investment and with literally no limits. It is capable CMS that can handle every type of website, starting from simple blogs, ending with fully fledged e-commerce stores. We at Sitify use two major advantages of using WordPress. It's as flexible as you want it to be, and it has no restrictions whatsoever. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, let's move on to those tips to make your life easy with WordPress. Go with a top-rated, dedicated WordPress managed hosting. Managed WordPress hostings are specifically optimized for WordPress, and they take care of everything in the back end, like code base management, performance, security backups, and the server stacks. If you're starting a website, you will need to host it somewhere anyway. So pick managed hosting from a quality host right from the outset. It'll cost the same and probably even less, but it'll make your life so much easier. One good option is Bluehost, which is officially recommended by WordPress. Check out the link in the description below to get the best Bluehost offers available. 
To keep everything simple from the start, use a lightweight theme. Themes are an essential part of WordPress as they control the core functions of a website and you can only activate one theme at a time. So make sure you pick a simple, reliable and lightweight theme so it doesn't create difficulties as you grow your website. A few good lightweight themes are GeneratePress, Astra and OceanWP. All three themes are available for free in the WordPress directory, so find them there. Once you have selected the theme, you can use a page builder to build your website. Front-end WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get is another important thing that WordPress just does not have by default. WYSIWYG is the functionality that makes site builders like Wix and Squarespace so easy to use. As the name says, WYSIWYG is the editing mode where what you see on the screen is exactly what you get as a final output. In WordPress, however, by default, you create your website and pages on the back end. So you don't actually see how things will look when your website goes live or until you press preview in a separate tab. So yes, it is a little bit frustrating and many WordPress users, especially beginners, don't really like this. I mean, it's no surprise. But here's the kicker. You can use WYSIWYG in WordPress too. How? Well, with WordPress WYSIWYG page builders. Yes. You heard it right. WordPress WYSIWYG page builders are powerful plugins that you can use to design and run WordPress websites in a code-free manner. That means that you don't have to write a single line of code. Most page builders are available with a drag and drop interface. So they basically allow you to create anything and all you have to do is to drag and drop things in a completely visual manner right on the front end meaning right on your live website. Plus, the major WordPress page builders come with hundreds of pre-built ready-made layouts and complete website kits for different niches like a blog, hotel, restaurant, travel and so on. So you can import any of those templates with a single click and then customize the content accordingly. And this allows you to set up WordPress websites in a consistent and professional looking design incredibly quickly. And I mean literally in minutes. So page builders will save you a ton of time, hassle and money if you are the beginner. Without them, it'll be quite challenging to get what you want from WordPress in the early stages, at least until you become WordPress pro like ourselves. So get yourselves WordPress page builder to make your life easier. Something like Divi, Elementor or Beaver Builder. They'll all do just fine. All of the links are in the description below, so check them out. We have also written about WordPress page builders a lot in our blog. So if you need more information, go and visit our blog. We'll also leave a link to the complete list of WordPress page builders in the description below too just because we love you guys and really want to help you out. So to sum it up, yes, WordPress can be complicated, but with the right tools and the right approach, you can make it quite simple and beginner friendly. There's a learning curve with WordPress, I admit, but you don't have to learn everything overnight. You can start small and then expand as your website grows. You will literally grow with it. Now, with the help of managed hosting and page builders, you can set up a complete website with all the functions that you need within minutes. So don't get frustrated, guys. Just follow the advice we gave you in this video and everything will be all right. And also let us know in the comments below what you think about WordPress. Share your opinions and your experience. Share it with not just us, but the whole community. If you are experienced and want to share some knowledge, go ahead, we will all appreciate it. And if you are a beginner and have any particular problem, you'd like to discuss, share it and we'll try to help you out or just visit our blog and delve deeper into the subject. There's a ton of information that you can find very useful. So don't be shy. 
So that is from me today. It's been a pleasure to see you all here again. Please like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't joined our awesome community yet, and don't forget to press that bell for notifications on any upcoming videos. And until next time, guys, I'll see you. Bye.